All right, how's it going, you guys? New Age here with another Pokemon Showdown Ladder and Sesh. Hold up, I'm gonna check my mic real quick. Uh, test it. Okay, cool. That's how I test it. I smack it because then when I hit it, it shows my, the the volume go up on super high, and that's how I know I'm recording. Um. <laughs> anyways, anyways, uh, another thing I want to say before we get started. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm sick or getting sick or what, but my throat has been a little weird and like it hurts and it's been making my voice weird and I can't talk like super consistently. I have to do a lot of like <laughs> kind of things, uh, <laughs> but you know, just ignore that. Just ignore it for this, this video. Um, but yeah, today we're up in NU. Um, I was looking for some teams and this one caught my eye it was like choice banded clank and i was like oh and then i saw also it had a clefairy so i was like oh so yeah i'm i'm enjoying i'm enjoying what the team is bringing to the table it originally had a polyrath on the team um and i was like well, how about instead, because Polyrath is banned in NU, because it was an older team. Um, so I was like, let's get Politoed instead, because Polyrath was like a special water absorber. Um, so that's what this one will be. Granted, it doesn't have any uh, fighting moves or priority like Polyrath did, which is a little unfortunate. It was like Focus Blast and Vacuum Wave instead. Uh, but, you know, hopefully they'll do the same thing. Also, they gave the Zebstrika Sap Sipper, which I feel it should be Lightning Rod because of how weak we are to uh, Electric. But I guess, if anything, we're also just as weak to Grass, and Sap Sipper lets me have a Sleep Powder switch in because I don't have one of those, so, you know. I guess I'll leave it as Sap Sipper. Um, this team doesn't have a lot of, like... There's, there's a lot of problems with it too, like it has no hazard control, I can't get rid of hazards, and this team is somewhat weak to hazards, so <clears throat> that'd be a little annoying. Uh, but yeah, we got Choice Bandit Clank, Eevee Light, Dragon Dance Fracture, Sap Super Life Orb, Zev Shrieka, Choice Scarf, Semipore for Revenge Killing and such, uh, T-Wave, Stealth Rock, Magic Art Clef, and a Leftovers Water Absorb Politoed. So, uh... That's the squad we're rolling with. Let's see. Uh, let's see what games we could get. All right, so we got a game with uh, Steelix, and well, I don't play this tier enough. I kind of have an idea, I guess, of what everything does. Mesprit is in this tier too. Why do I feel like Mesprit is in like every single tier? Um. All right. So. Lead Mesprit, lead Vivalon. I feel like those are things. Maybe even Steelix. I don't even have a way to like stop hazards. <clears throat> um, I really want to lead Zebstrika. I feel like that's kind of a cool one. But that also does really good against this team later. Uh, I feel like Politoed might be better uh, because then I can attempt to encore things. As well as if he starts Vivalon, I'll just go straight into Zebstrika. Yeah, I like that better. So let, let's start off with that. Hopefully we can get our rocks up sometime soon. <clears throat> He's actually going to lead with the uh, the uh, Obama Snow. Um, yeah, I really don't have a switch in for this. Why does, yeah, this thing just blows through my whole team. I don't have an Ice Resist. I mean, I have Clank, but I can't really do much back. I'm not even faster in this thing. Um, I feel like I kind of have to go Clank, actually. Yeah, even if he like EQs, I kind of have to. That's like my only switcher. So he actually goes for Giga Drain when I could have Sap Super. Um, but I'm just gonna go for Gear Grind. I don't even think Clank does too much this game. Yeah, because it's weak to hit Monchan. Okay, and it just knocks me out. It's weak to Hitmonchan, uh, gets put to sleep by Vivalon. Floatzel, it could probably have taken it out. It can't knock out Steelix. Um, so really just like Mesprit and Floatzel, maybe. But they were also both faster than it, so. Oh, this is a little annoying. 
I'm just gonna go Zebstrika. I have to overheat. And like, he has switches for that too. Granted, you know, I could just bolt switch on whatever he wants to switch into at this point, so. Okay, and we miss, and he stays in. Why would he stay in there? He's offensive, he definitely died to that. Yeah, I'm calculating that right now. Oh, he should not have done that. Yeah, he straight up dies. Okay. <clears throat> well, I'm pretty sure we just lose at this point. I really have no idea why he stayed in. Like, he honestly had no reason to. He 100% died to overheat. So, that was just bad luck on our part. But, you know, it's chill. It's all a casual thing to me. At least in a tier like this that I don't play very often. Uh, so we do paralyze the Obamas now. I'm just gonna recover. Or soft boiled. Alright. So let's see what he wants to do here. I really don't think we could break through the rest of his team now. Zebstreak will put in so much work on his team. That like now it just kind of wrecks us. His team I mean. So... That's a little unfortunate. Luckily though, we did get up rocks, and we don't even have a, a um, spin blocker on this team, so he could easily just get rid of them, kind of anytime he wants. I don't think I have anything that can like one-shot him. Also, why is he taking forever all of a sudden? Just fire off blizzards like you kept doing. So he's gonna go into Steelix here. Fortunately, now I have like no switch ins. I'm gonna go into Politoed. Um, I mean, really, he could bring in a Bomb Stone at any time, but we got up rocks and he's paralyzed, so he's not gonna have too much HP left afterwards, anyways. So he's gonna go for the heavy slam. That's gonna do nothing. Uh, I could, well. My bad. Um, I guess I could just Scald. I don't really see why not. He doesn't exactly have a switch in, and I'm modest. Why is this dude staying in? And he's like... I don't know. We're not even having any look in our favor or anything either. Like, if we would have burned him right there, he would have just been dead. I don't know why this dude is like staying in like this. I don't even think it was worth it to toxic my Politoed because he has other... I don't... Well, maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. He doesn't have anything that could actually beat Politoed well. So, good on him. Hitmonchan probably could. So, I guess we're waiting for him now. This dude's taking forever for, like, no reason. See what you got, bro. <laughs> so now he's gonna decide to switch. But, it doesn't really matter. I mean, we're gonna take Hail and Poison. So, it's gonna get a little annoying, but, I mean... Do I just stay in and knock this thing out? Yeah. I'm pretty sure Semipore should be able to put in some work. I don't want to let Polito go down like this, but <clears throat> we'll see what he wants to go into now. I don't even have like a sleep powder switch in, so that's a little annoying. Honestly, if he went Vivalon now, I mean, I have no reason to switch out because he can't even put me to sleep. And that's like my only sleep absorber. All right, so he's going to go into Hitmonchan here. I mean, I can still get up my Stealth Rock, so... Let's see. It's Politoed. Skull can do up to 50%. Drain Punch does a lot back to me, though. Um, let's see. Ice Punch can't knock out Clefairy. And I think that's all he has to hit me with. So... He's like, whoa, why did that do so much? Oh, that is how much it does. That's a little annoying. 
Um, I'm just gonna T-Wave here. Okay, good. He didn't get the roll on Drain Punch. Unfortunately, we're getting... We're dying to hail, so that's kind of stupid. Oh, wait, we're not because of Magic Guard. That's right. All right, I'm gonna softball it up here now. I mean, unless he has um, Mock Punch, then, you know, obviously we go down. We're at 1%, but it's worth it to try and heal then try to attack him because if we get off an attack then or if we get off the soft boiled yeah why did he do that okay well <laughs> like you're you're not winning this exchange right here and once you get paralyzed it's a wrap i mean if you're ever going to get paralyzed his steelix is pretty low too He's gonna go into Mesprit, so I'm gonna paralyze that too. Psyshock does do 50%, so that's a lot, but I mean, just getting the paralysis off on things. Um, I'm gonna softball it again. Look at Clefairy putting in the work. I really think he's just not playing this well, though. I don't know. He shouldn't have stayed in and just kept hitting me like that. Now I need to figure out how to beat Mesprit. I mean, let's see, HP electric, I really want to keep Semipore healthy because his, uh, his float is still an issue. I'm going to go out into Politoed and I think just sack it. I really would like to keep the, um, keep my Clefairy with more health, but alright, Mesprit is doing a lot actually. Like, why did that knock me out? I mean, I guess I'm specially defensive. Side shock. How much does that do? Ah, oh, that actually does do a lot. Okay. Well, <clears throat> let me see how much fracture it. He's not even life orb either, though. So, side shock does a decent amount, but. I think if we can get to plus one for Eviolite Mold Breaker. If we get to plus one, we have a chance to knock him out with Outrage, so. Oh, we don't have Outrage. Okay. Well, then we have to hope he gets paralyzed at least once. Because if not, we're kind of going to be in range of like Aqua Jet. So. I mean, part of me just wants to go for Dragon Claw. Because I really need damage on this thing. Yeah, and at least it's a two-hit KO. So, oh, cool. So he does get paralyzed. Um, we're at plus one, so he should be able to outspeed um, Floatzel. All right, cool. That was a good turn for him to get paralyzed, because otherwise we would have, we might have been in range. As he's gonna go out into Steelix here. Um, I mean, this just dies. So, so like any of my hits. All right, so him on Chan should go down. Um, yeah, I think we have this one. I'm, yeah, we're definitely faster than everything. Well, maybe not Floatzel. I don't know, we'll see. All right, so how much does him on Chan take? From Dragon Claw? Yeah, it knocks it out. <clears throat> so him on Chan, gone. Floatzel, 361. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, we are faster. Um, can we knock it out, though? Dragon Claw. Yeah, should knock it out after rocks. Cool. And Vivalon takes 50%, so that's GG. Yep. Alright, sweet. So, Fracture pulling through in the end. We honestly didn't even use Clank, which was a little sad, but that I'm sure that'll happen a lot with Clank, just because it has no kind of coverage moves, so... You know but let's find another game see if we can make some more magic happen all right we got another game uh Quagsire, Aurorus, Conkledur might be a Conkledur can be pretty annoying actually I think or uh, Girder my bad and they got sticky webs so but his team is not insanely fast to begin with it's really bulky. It has things like will o wisp too, but we have more special than physical attackers, if anything. Um, I don't know if he's going to try and lead with Lee Benny. 
I kind of want to leave Clefairy, because I, I don't really have a way to stop him from getting up. Actually, hmm. Hold up. Leave Annie. Clang. With... Choice Span. How much does that do? Gear Grind? Wow. Why is Choice Band so... Oh wait, there's like no attack investment. Is it Adamant? It still doesn't knock him out. That's a little upsetting. Adamant Max Attack Gear Grind doesn't knock out this man. Let's see. There's no way Return knocks him out. Alright. Hey, don't worry about it. <laughs> Um, let's see. Yeah, I think I just want to lead uh, Clefairy then. Because, uh, if, if, um, Gear Grind doesn't knock him out, then it's whatever. I have no way of, like, stopping him from getting, I mean, if it did knock him out, he would have gotten up Sticky Webs, but then been dead after, he wouldn't have been able to, like, do anything else. Um, so... I kind of like this better, because at least I get T-Wave and then uh, get up my own rocks. Okay, I mean, it doesn't matter. Like, I'm just going to keep going for rocks. Eventually, you'll get paralyzed. <laughs> I mean, this doesn't do much to you. But, like I said, I don't have a way of getting rid of Hazard, so... Oh my gosh, why is this man taking so long to get paralyzed? Like, you can keep using Magical, I don't care. Pretty sure, I, yeah, I have more Stealth Rocks than you have Magic Coat, so... If you want to just keep using this for the rest of your life... Oh, this thing probably has Heal Belt, too. That's a little annoying. Oh, he's Sub, uh, Nasty Plot? Okay. Yeah, I don't even know if we can beat this thing, but... I'm just gonna go for, uh... Moon Blasties. I don't know if he's gonna sub again or try and attack me. Yeah, he's gonna sub again. And now I'm gonna T-Wave. I don't think he would sub again. N Cause normally it's like once someone knows you have sub, then they keep attacking, you know? So we're gonna get to paralyze him here, so that's amazing. And uh, I think I'm gonna go for a Moonblast just to get him lower again. And we get the special attack drop and the paralysis. Not even bad. So we're gonna Moonblast again. Clefairy is just putting in the work as a lead. I like it. Um, I'm thinking maybe his girder doesn't have Poison Jab, but you know, whatever. He's gonna Nasty Plot again. Um, I'm just gonna Moonblast. I don't, Shadow Ball will probably kill me, but, oh, we get a special attack drop. All right, so Shadow Ball's not killing me, nice. And he gets a special defense drop, so that's a little annoying. Um, but I am gonna Moonblast here. I kind of had to. I couldn't rely on the crit. I guess I could have tried to heal, but with the special defense drop, Shadow Ball might have knocked me out. If it did 45 before a special defense drop, yeah, we would have only been at like 60 or so. <clears throat> but. We were able to get rid of the Miss Magius, which I'm happy about. Because, for one, that thing could have had Heal Bell. Two, I didn't want it burning my team. Um, so, let's see. I'm sure he's going to attack here. We don't take Rock's damage, so we could attempt to heal up later against something. Um, and this could also have Earth Power. Yeah, our team is really weak to these, like, Ice. Like, Ice and another type Pokemon, you know? Um, let's see. I kind of want to go into Clang, but Clang's not even faster in this thing. I'm thinking more like semi poor. Yeah, I'm gonna go semi poor. And assume he's going for an ice move or earth power. So he goes for it in power. I don't know what that was then. It shouldn't be HP ground if he has. Cause this thing gets earth power, so. But 
I think I want to go for a grass knot. Either expecting Quagsire to come in, or I mean, I would hit that for some decent damage too. Um, but at this point, I'm just going into Clang. I have clear body, so I'm not affected by Sticky Web. So that's nice. I'd say if anything, this team is the least weak to Sticky Web. It kind of affects Fracture and Zebstrika, but I don't know, maybe the others don't care as much. But we'll see what he wants to do here. I mean, he can try and calm mind or something. I don't know why he brought... I mean, he could have brought it out just as a general wall, but... Yeah, like... I know this thing gets, like, Fire Blast and stuff, too. But he doesn't really have a switch for Gear Grind either way, other than Quagsire. But if he wants to switch into Quagsire, that's fine. Because we have answers for Quagsire. I actually wish now that Politoed had HP uh, Grass. Because he knows we have Grass Knot now. I guess I should have saved that instead of going straight for it. Um, dang, Clefairy isn't even faster. Well, no, Clefairy is faster because he doesn't have speed on, on his Quagsire. But we're going to go out into Politoed here. And I think attempt to Encore. Actually, we would not be faster. That's a little annoying. Um, yeah, I'm gonna Encore him here. We should still be faster. Okay, as he goes into Audi now. Um, I kind of want to Skull just to see how much damage he does. Also, I could attempt to stay in a Dazzling Gleam. Or, not Dazzling Gleam, Encore. Um, he is actually faster, so that's a little annoying. And we, and we do get the burn, so that's pretty cool. Um... He's going for Wish here. I don't think he has anyone to pass into. Does Encore work on Protect? No, it doesn't. Okay, well, I mean, we're Encoring him now because we need something to happen. He could honestly keep switching around. Okay, so he's gonna Heal Bell. We're gonna Encore him into Heal Bell. And then... Um, I'm gonna go into Zepstrika. Because he doesn't know that has HP Grass yet, so I'm just going to go for a Thunder move. Not Thunder, an Electric move. Um, get off some damage. He doesn't have a switch into this thing either. And this is faster than Quagsire. 22%? That's not enough. Does a decent amount though, actually. Yeah, I do like the damage on that. If we can get a high roll or a, a crit or something, then that could knock him out. Um, I actually want a Volt Switch here. Because... If he goes for Wish and Protect... Then that allows us to have a chance to set up on him with Fracture. I'm just going to take this as an opportunity to try. I feel. Because he's going to wish here. Um, I don't know if we're faster if he's max speed or something. Because we could be faster if he's not. But either way, I just want to Dragon Dance. Yeah, because he's going to protect here. He's, he's not risking it. So our speed is up to normal. So we should most definitely be faster. So I'm going for Iron Tail here. There we go. So Adino is gone. That worked out pretty well. With Zebstreaka together. Um... I'm pretty sure he does have things faster than me, but he decides to go out into Quagsire. I guess he's unaware. Um, I'm going to go for Dragon Claw just to see the damage. 41%? That's not unaware. Alright, so yeah, that'll another one will knock him out, and he doesn't have a switch for this thing. So, I will take that. I'm pretty sure we're faster than Aurorus too. As he decides to go leave Annie, this should knock him out. Yeah. So Lee Vanny is gone, so that's pretty cool because our team is somewhat weak to grass. Um, and now he does not have a switch for this. He has Girder. That won't be faster, and I don't think it can knock me out. So we're going to go for Dragon Claw. Oh, wow. That's just nothing. He's still not going to... Well, if he mock punches here, yeah. But we're just going to Dragon Claw one more time anyways. Um... It's looking like we should be able to win with Zebstrika. He actually decides to bulk up. Why? Why would you bulk up? 
I mean, I guess Mach Punch could potentially knock out a lot of my Pokemon now. That's a plus one Dragon Claw. I guess that was a better play for him. Let's see. So we definitely have to hit him on the special side. Semipore. Hydro Pump does knock him out. Mach Punch at plus one. Yes. Does 46 to 54. Uh, so it will be a roll after rocks, but we have to go for Hydro Pump. I can't really go for anything else. Unfortunately, I think he is Water Absorbed Quagsire. I mean, we do have Zebstrika with the HP Grass, so. I'm gonna go Semi Poor. That's like my only shot, and I have to Hydro Pump. Yeah, so Mug Puncher plus one does 46 to 54. So unless he gets like the highest roll ever, then he knocks us out. And he doesn't even mock Punch. I don't know why this man is not throwing off mock Punches. He should have mock Punch. <coughs> like the lack of priority on his team is what's making him lose, if anything. Uh, we're originally faster than this, so if he is Scar- Well, no, if he's Scarf, he'll be faster now. Um, but we're going to Hydro Pump anyways. All right, cool. So now all he's got left is Quagsire. I was assuming it was Water Absorb, but I don't know now. Um, I'm just gonna go Politoed, attempt to Encore maybe, if he wants to Toxic. I don't. I'm not faster than him though. All right, because yeah, we should be able to wear this thing down. Um, I don't even know if he could hit me. Okay. So we're encoring him into that. I'm just gonna scald to find out if he is water absorbed. I just wanna know. Okay, he's not water absorbed. Was he really unaware? That's crazy. Alright, um. I think. This is kind of taking it the long way around, but I wanna go into Clefairy now and heal up while I have the chance. Um, just in case I happen to not be able to stall out this Quagsire later on. Um, I just want to be able to. Yeah, and he's faster than me too. Okay, I wanted to see if he was physical or, or what. So he has, he does have Earthquake. Um, so I think here I'm going to go into Clang, just to let this thing go down. Um, because I want to free switch into Simipore. So I can, I mean, how much, how much does this do? Actually. Quagsire, Simipore, Grass Knot knocks him out, so yeah, I'm just gonna do that. I was gonna knock him off, but if Grass Knot knocks him out, then it doesn't matter. Have the GG's ready. Alright, yeah. Straight up knocks him out. Alright, cool. Not bad, not bad. Alright, so far so good. Let's find another game. See what's up. Yo, guys. So I just realized something. That was really stupid. <laughs> I've been playing in NU this whole time, not PU. But we've been killing it in NU with a PU team. How funny is that? <laughs> totally did not realize that I clicked the wrong tier. And yet we still been killing it with these teams. I should have realized that when we were going up against Ms. Magius. That's so funny. Wow. I'm like off my game, but on my game at the same time. Watch, now that I switch down to PU, we're gonna start losing. All right, let's see what we got. Um, Actually, hold up, this is a team that was on the, on the, on the site. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me find this right quick. Um, PU, sample teams, Cacturn, yeah, this is the exact team, the Drio Cacturn Hyper Offense. Okay, so he doesn't have any hazard, uh, Golem is his only hazard setter, so I want to lead, um, He's weakness policy golem, so I don't want to hit him with a super effective move like that. I'm gonna lead Politoed. 
because he's going to lead Golem. Um, and... I think I just want to Encore. I don't think he's attacking. Alright, because this is this, this his only thing with rocks. It also has Sucker Punch, so that's a little annoying. <clears throat> How much does Earthquake do to me? This is so funny. I don't think I've had that happen yet. Um, Earthquake does a lot. Yeah, I think I'm better off just going for Scald. Um, cause he's gonna- I didn't know he was faster than me. If I knew he was faster, and there's his weakness policy. If I knew he was faster, I would've went for Encore, that's crazy. Does it say that in the set, too? Oh yeah, it's max speed golem. Damn it. Then I would've Encored him into Stealth Rocks. Okay, so now this is a little annoying, because I think he puts in the work on my team. I guess I should have looked at that too. Yeah, Earthquake and everything knocks me out. Um, so the question is, who do I want to sack? I think Clang actually does good this game. Fracture might be able to sweep him too. Um, hmm. Semipore is nice too. And Clefairy. I guess if anything, I actually don't need Politoed. I'm gonna Ice Beam, he's gonna knock us out with Earthquake here. Um, then we're gonna go Semipore and I think start firing off Ice Beam. Actually, hmm. Cause he has Sucker Punch too and he's a plus two. Which is annoying. Actually, I don't know if he has Sucker Punch. The set calls for Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch actually knocks me out. Oh my gosh, we're gonna get swept by this thing. That's ridiculous. Alright, Dragon Dance Fracture. Sucker Punch doesn't knock me out. And Earthquake does knock me out. Okay. So, I kind of have to lead with this. I'm just going to go low kick. Alright, cool. He didn't go for Sucker Punch? Yeah, alright. Because I know um, in the team builder, things are weird with <coughs> uh, stuff having Sucker Punch. Man, I wish I saw that I was faster because I would have Encored him turn 1. Because that's what I wanted to do. So, he's going to go out into Dodrio now. That is Choice Banded, right? Yeah, Choice Banded Dodrio. So how much does this do? Uh, Dodrio pretty much knocks me out with Brave Bird. Um, so I'm gonna go out into Clang. Because otherwise he shouldn't knock me out. Oh my gosh, that does so much. Holy crap. I did not think that would do that much. Okay, well Dodrio's gone. Uh, we are faster and this was semi poor, so. That is crazy. I didn't even bother to try and calc it. Um, I actually want to go Zebstrika. That should be able to knock it out with uh, with Volt Switch, yeah. I'd rather do that. Because he's not Scarf, so I outspeed him. And unlike uh, Simipore, he doesn't have like a switch into this. Yeah, so he's going to go Mr. Mime. Damn, that does a lot. Um, kind of want to go Clefairy now. What is this Mr. Mime set? This Mr. Mime is Choice Scarf. Yeah, so he can't touch me. Actually, I'm faster than it with my semi pour. <laughs> Let's see. Mr. Mime, Choice Scarf. Simapore, Choice Scarf. I do knock him out with Hydro Pump, but I don't want to lock myself into that either. How much does Knockoff do? 
not enough. I mean, I could go knockoff, but then I have to switch. I'm gonna go seven four. Cause he'll, it'll seem like I think I'm faster and like I don't know he's scarf, but I do know he's scarf, so I am faster. So as long as we connect, this knocks him out. Yep. <laughs> My scarf against your scarf, and now he's going cag turn. Um. So he has Giga Drain, Dark Pulse, Sucker Punch, Focus Blast. Can this touch my Clefairy? Clefairy versus Cacturn. It's a Life Orb, right? Yeah. See, so yeah, Giga Drain does nothing to me. He doesn't have spikes, though. What does he have? Sucker Punch? Alright, I'm going Clefairy. So he's going to Dark Pulse, we're going to eat it up, and uh... I think I want a T-Wave. What does his Rodom do? His Rodom doesn't have Trick, right? Yeah, okay. I'm going to T-Wave, in case he goes to Drio. Or Maywell, that works. Um... And his Maywell is Life Orb Sheer Force. I don't really want to count this. <laughs> Yeah, that knocks out Clefairy. Granted, we're faster, but still. It, it does knock us out. I don't really want to risk that. Because it is like our only character in switching. I mean, not really. Because getting up rocks would be really nice here. Ugh, alright, let's get up rocks. He's gonna SD. Oh my gosh. Alright, well now we definitely have to stay in because we're not letting something switch into a uh, plus two uh, iron head. So that's going to knock us out. Um, this thing does get sucker punch for sure. Who do I need more? This is going to be weird if I know his exact team and I still lose. That beginning messed me up though. Having Politoed now would be so nice. <clears throat> I would definitely go into that and fire off some scalds. Because there's no way Sucker Punch would knock us out. Um, so he's at plus two now. Let's see. Simapore, what you got? Sucker Punch does knock us out. Hydro Pump knocks him out, though. We also have knockoff. Granted, I don't want to lock myself into knockoff. Uh, fracture? No. The thing is, I know Zebstreaker can kill it, but we died a sucker punch. So he's SD though. Oh yeah, SD sucker punch iron head play rough. So we're gonna volt switch, and he gets paralyzed on the sucker punch. Nice crit didn't matter. All right, cool. Um, so now we can go Semipore and knock ourselves into Ice Beam, I believe. And that should be GG. Let's see, how much does this do to... Okay, turn. Semipore, Choice Scarf. Sucker Punch does not knock us out. And Rodham um, Fan. What? Oh, it's Rodham um, Frost. Which one is it? Rodham um, S. Ice Beam does knock him out. Yeah, Sucker Punch did like. 75% max or whatever. It, it put us at 1%. Um, and his Dodrio does have quick attack. Oh, that sucks. Alright. Um, I mean, this dies anyways to rock, so he's gonna lock himself in a quick attack. Um, he's banded, so I don't want to go into Zipstrika. 
I wonder if we can still lose this actually. Um, that's a little unfortunate. All right, Dodrio choice banned against Fracture. I am Eviolite, so 28 to 34. Yeah, we definitely live this, and we could Dragon Dance and be faster than him the next turn, I believe. We're at plus one speed. Are we faster than this? Hold on, I need to check this out. 256 times 1.5. Yeah, we're faster. Okay. So we can afford to Dragon Dance up here. He's going to switch. Um, Rodham. Which Rodham is this? I just want to make sure I have the right one. Yeah, Rodham fan. There's Rodham Heat. Rodham. Cut. Rodham Frost. What the hell? Which Rodham is this? It's gotta be Rodham S then, right? Okay. So at plus one, we don't knock him out. Dragon Claw does 73 to 84. We have a chance to knock him out, so we're going for it. We don't knock him out. We will knock him out with another one. And we are faster than Dodrio. So it should be GG. Dodrio, choice banded. A quick attack can't knock us out. It's GG. It's GG! <laughs> should, I, should I send him his uh, team? be like New Year's spread. <laughs> Damn it. No. Lose for T-Wave? Nah, it's chill. <laughs> it's okay, it's getting nerfed in Sun and Moon. Let's go, yo. And that knocks you out. Um, quick attack shouldn't knock me out. It does like 34 max, I guess. Nah, even if he gets a crit, it should have knocked me out. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, we dipping. Alright. Uh, maybe I'll get one more game. I don't know. We'll see. I guess I'll do one more. I have time. Since we didn't do any PU games, <laughs> except for that one. Hey, that guy did what we did. We just like got his team. That's that's so crazy to do a battle like that where we just have his entire team like in front of us. What is this? Is this a thing? So he's got Ditto, Stealth Rocker, Rapid Spinner, Special attacker and physical attacker, a ditto and a Pikachu that does something, I don't know. Um I'd figure you would lead Stunfisk, right? And I can just ice beam that and be faster. I'm gonna lead Polytoad. I love Polytoad on this team. Alright, so this should not be faster than us. And I'm just gonna Ice Beam right off the bat. I did want to Scald. Oh, we freeze him! <laughs> Turn one, freeze! Alright, so who's his Ice Switch in? I'm just gonna Ice Beam again. I should Scald, but I don't want him to go into... I, I'm gonna Scald. He's not gonna go into Cacturn now that I went for Ice Beam. Turn one. If he does, then Pro plays to him. Also, it should knock him out since it's stab. Yeah, cool. Because Scald does defrost Pokemon. 
But if Ice Beam did that much, then Scald should have been able to do the extra that we needed. So he has no rocks this game. That's pretty cool. A Politoed getting some justice. <laughs> so he's going to go into Pikachu now. Um, I'm just going to go Clang. We resist his electric and normal. He's going to knock off, which is a little unfortunate. So we lose our choice band. Um, but I don't think he really has a switch in a gear grind. Unless he goes into his own clay. Or ditto. That would turn into clay. So he's going to Volt Switch. Damn. Why is Pikachu doing so much? That light ball, though. I feel like Clang did nothing in any games, which was a little unfortunate. And he is going to go into Ditto and transform, and we miss. It doesn't matter. It would have done nothing. Um, I'm going to Volt Switch in case he misses. I don't know. <clears throat> he could just return. Or Volt Switch on his own. Actually, I don't think I should Volt Switch. Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna gear grind. I'm gonna let this thing go. Because he could just Volt Switch himself, and I didn't want him to think that... Because the only move I would have to hit him with, obviously, are my electric moves. So he could have easily gone Pikachu there and gotten a special attack boost. So I didn't want to give him that in case he was, like, smart enough to do that. So Clank goes down. He has Cryogonal to come out. Um, I don't really have an answer for this, either. I do have Clefairy, so... I will definitely go into that. I'm going to try and T-Wave. I don't know if he would go Pikachu right away. Yeah, okay. So he's Life 4, but I mean, it doesn't matter. We're a Cliff Fairy. So we're going to Paralyze. Um, I'm going to go for my Stealth Rocks now. And we should be able to heal on this thing. Um, honestly, Karagano was probably one of his bigger threats. So that was cool. Um, I want to Moonblast here. Because we are faster. And we could get a special attack drop. So that's going to do even less. I'm going to heal right quick. Now would be a good time for him to switch, honestly. Which sucks, because this is like obvious that I'm going to soft boil. I, he really should not stay in and keep trying to hit me. Because now I get to attack him again. And now we know Clefairy is like a really solid counter to a uh, pack turn. He's just letting his Krogonal die. Now it can't even come in on rocks. He's gonna rapid spin now, but he's life orb, so I could go for stealth rocks again. And he dies next time he hits me. Which I guess is better for him. Because he would get the rapid spin off. <clears throat> so he decides to switch there. That was a horrible idea. Um. I don't think I care to paralyze him that bad. Maybe I do, because he can only go for one move anyways. And I think he's just going to get up rocks here. Right? Yeah, I think I want a T-Wave. I definitely want a T-Wave. I knew he was going to T-Wave too, but he's Choice Scarf, so... Getting that off on him was... More more detrimental for like his side than mine because I I have the bulk of a Clefairy and the Evil Light so we're chilling over here yeah, and he's gonna switch now into Pikachu we're gonna go out into our Zebstrika unfortunately this thing just does so much damage to us it's crazy um, I can't imagine it takes overheat well though it's just a Pikachu <laughs> And he is not faster than us, so... Overheat actually knocks him out, so let's get rid of this thing. <laughs> so Pikachu is gone. That was actually a threat. Our team is fairly weak to electric. Um, so Pikachu is gone. His Ditto and Krogano are paralyzed. Krogano can't even come in anymore, so rocks are here to stay. So really, we just have, like, Rampardos and Cacturn to deal with. Um, we should be able to deal with Cacturn with Clefairy. Hopefully. We are paralyzed now. I mean, we have a semi port too. Like, we have, like, call semi port and ice type. So that's good for Cacturn. And then Politoed for uh, a water type for Rampardos. So he's gonna go into Cacturn here. Um, how much does Overheat actually do? 
I mean, Cacturn does so much, though. It's, it's very strong. <clears throat> yeah, minus two still almost knocks it out, so I'm definitely going for that. Because then we could knock him out after, I think, with uh, Volt Switch. And we're Sap Sipper. Uh, completely forgot about that, honestly. I was just like, I'm going to go for damage. And Volt Switch does 9 to 11% at minus four, so we're going to knock him out right there. As we live the Volt Switch, so that's cool. Or the uh, Sucker Punch, so we get to get off our Volt Switch. Um, and now... I'm thinking I just want to go Politoed. Yeah. Because if he wants to go Ditto, then that's fine. This, okay, I was like, does he even transform into us? Um, but we have HP Electric, and he has that too, so... I actually want to go into Fracture. If he wants to predict this and go for Ice Beam, good on him. But if he goes for HP Electric, then we set up on him and win. So let's see what he wants to go for. And we didn't really need Fracture, so we're chilling. He does burn us, a little unfortunate. Um, but now we go Politoed. Now that we know what he's locked into. Honestly, he should have doubled there. I don't know why he stayed in. Unless he's not choiced, but pretty damn sure he's choiced. So we do a clean 50% and he's locked into that and we have water absorbed, so, you know, good for you. Um, I don't think he traces our uh, ability, so I'm going to Scald here in case he wants to go like Rampardos or something. And if he wants to switch again, then it's like more Stealth Rocks on Ditto next time it comes in. So he's going to go Kragonol, it's going to go down. Yeah, we have this one for sure. just a matter of time and if he wants to transform into ditto again it doesn't matter like we're faster than it anyways because it's paralyzed so he's gonna go around Pardos here uh, we're gonna scald that should be able to knock it out we're modest um, and he hopefully can't knock us out I don't know Rampardos is crazy strong all right we just barely live it with 2% so Politoed coming through with the bulk so he's gonna get to go into ditto here it's going to be paralyzed and at like 25%. So. And we're faster than him because he's paralyzed. So that's GG. GG. Hey. There we go. And he had to lock himself. Well, no. He could have gone for Ice Beam, I guess. He, there, there was no way. There was just no way. Alright. Not even bad. So. <laughs> we did half the live in uh, NU. That was pretty interesting. And cool that we were able to win those battles this is pretty funny now that i think about it um but yeah hopefully you guys enjoy the battle the battles um next week i might do pu or not next week without next episode i might do pu again because i did find a team with the choice banded dodrio that i really wanted to use that's originally what i was looking for but then i saw the clank and i was like all right well i kind of want to use this now um so Maybe next episode we'll have some Choice Banded Dodrio action going on. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, share, comment, all that good stuff. And until then, I'm New Age Steel. Keep on watching. I'll see you guys next time. Later!